There's nothing like a beautiful yard when it comes to relaxing and entertaining. Conventional gardening often requires a lot of maintenance and water. But water is a precious commodity here in the West. So a drought tolerant type of gardening has become very popular in Colorado. It's called Xeriscape. For the last several years, the city of Lakewood has emphasized xeric gardening over any other kind. We're way ahead of the curve on that, and uh, that's kind of confirmed through other people in the industry who come to us for advice now, uh, all the way from Pueblo to Fort Collins. Xeric plants are those plants that are drought tolerant and require less attention than water-rich flora. We've started to convert annual beds to perennial beds, to xeric perennial beds, and we're still in the process of doing that. We want to save some annual flowers for the public because everybody does love those. But in the process of doing that, we've, uh, we've also converted a lot of medians. Uh, we're in the process of still doing that as well because they get so much attention and visibility out there. Savvy gardeners are learning about xeriscaping techniques and discovering that xeric plants can be just as satisfying to grow as more traditional flowers and ground cover. Annual flowers are a great, beautiful thing to look at, but they're only something you can look at five months out of the year, and they use a lot of water. The Kinder Clay Gardens has a huge variety of uh, species of plants now. All of those plants are drought tolerant plants. There's nothing over there that needs a lot of water. So anything that people are looking at is something that they can grow under a low water regime. Lakewood's most notable xeriscape garden by far is found at Kendrick Lake Park. The Denver Post has called it one of the 10 best gardens in the Denver area. There, you will find 300 to 350 xeric plant species that thrive in Colorado's semi-arid climate. We have everything from cactus and agaves to plants that appear more lush and more like annual flowers and things like that, but they're all xeric and they're all drought tolerant. And uh, a lot of that relates to the plant's physiology and the plant's root systems and things like that. Sunset hyssops, sedums, ice plants, salvias, digitalis, these are all drought tolerant plants that do well in Colorado gardens. Lakewood factors in seven steps when it builds a xeriscape garden, planning and design, soil improvements, installing efficient irrigation, zoning of plants, mulches, turf alternatives, and appropriate maintenance. Start with a site plan and mark those areas around your home where you want to plant gardens. Since western plants, which usually are xeric plants, do well in a mineralized soil, check to see if you have soil with a lot of clay or sand. Heavy clay soil can actually drown xeric plants, so amend the soil is necessary for good drainage. My first tip to anyone that wants to grow a xeric garden is, is find out how your soil drains. Uh, xeric plants don't like to have roots that are wet all the time. They need water like any other plant, but they like the water to drain away. And uh, xeric plants, where they grow naturally, that's the type of soil it is. It's a highly mineralized soil, which is a soil that has a lot of rock and a lot of gravel and not a lot of organic stuff, compost. Very good way to kill xeric plants, put a ton of compost on it. So it's completely opposite from what most people are used to doing with their traditional garden plants. You can water a xeriscape garden easily, by hand or with an automatic sprinkler system. Xeric plants need water for a good start, but not as much water as annuals. When people hear xeric and they buy xeric plants, they want to go and plant them and not water them. They need water for at least the first six months to get established, whether it's xeric or not. Group together plants that need similar amounts of light and water into specific zones. Mulching is essential and helps keep plant roots cool, reduces weed growth, and minimizes evaporation. Examples of good organic mulches include bark chips and wood grindings. 
inorganic mulches are simply rocks and gravel. Take a good look at your lawn, or lack thereof. Most lawn grass needs a lot of water to survive Colorado's summer heat. If you're putting in a new lawn, do yourself a favor and plant turf that doesn't need a lot of water. Drought tolerant species include buffalo grass, blue grama grass, and tall and fine fescues. To prep your soil for turf, work in some organic matter or compost. Then, till the soil as deeply as possible. This extra effort will not only help establish a new lawn, it will reduce the amount of water needed to do so. Although your Zurich garden will not need as much attention as a typical annual garden, it will need maintenance. So plan to pull weeds, prune, and fertilize your plants to get them off to a good start. In terms of maintenance with a Zurich garden, um, the fact that the plants natively grow in such harsh environments, they don't like a lot of coddling. As a matter of fact, uh, a lot of coddling usually will end up killing the plants. So the best thing to do is get your soil right, put your plants in, monitor them, and of course water them initially to get, get the soil settled around the root systems. After that, you don't have to do a whole lot. There's not a lot of pruning, there's not a lot of uh, deadheading or any of that thing that you would normally associate with having a garden. So in many, many ways, they are, it actually is very much easier. Lakewood has a helpful guide on its website to assist you in creating a xeric garden. The Principles of Xeriscaping offers detailed information for designing a water-wise garden. Call us and ask us, and we'll be glad to help you in any way. The, the deeper you can work your soil, the deeper the plants will root in the soil. That gives the plants resiliency over time to weather drought and weather heat and all these things. So besides using us as a resource, realize the environment that you live in. And what I mean by that is the whole front range from Wyoming to New Mexico is a dry, semi-arid desert environment. Living with your environment instead of trying to fight your environment is a much happier place to be as a gardener.